Today, the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, Right Reverend Paul Semogere, has led his first mass as the Archbishop of the Diocese. In his sermon, he did not hesitate to talk about the injustices that Ugandans are still facing. On this Sunday, Christians stand up in large numbers to attend the inaugural mass of the recent consecrated Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, Paul Semogere. The big congregation included other religious leaders led by priests from all sectors, nuns and brothers. Other members of the public too also attended the prayers. Soon, the Archbishop made his procession to the pulpit as he offered his blessings. Later, the Mass started. During his sermon, the Archbishop thanked the people of Kampala Archdiocese for the warm welcome and prayed that they join him in his leadership journey. I always remember that and I always remember to pray for you. The request, also request that you always remember to pray for me. This is a sign that we are going to move together, to journey together. I can't walk alone. Archbishop Semogere also spoke out against the cruel acts of torture, murder and impunity that have been making headlines. Today in our country, it is hard to hear or, or see many people kidnapped imprisoned without trial, theft everywhere, people tortured, and those who are granted bail, the courts of orders are violated. He urged people to look to God for redemption, especially those who are outrightly carrying out injustices and those abusing the temple of justice and the rule of law. That such people possess a God-given dignity Deriving from his image and likeness, as we read in Genesis 1. We thus implore all civil authorities to desist from encroaching on the rightful freedoms of the person and respect the vulnerable that they hold, that they hold suspect, and to let the judicial arm take precedence in order to hold accountable those who are guilty. Archbishop Semogerede also delivered his message to the citizens. Let us act on our own judgment, enjoying and making use of responsible freedom, not driven by coercion, by a sense of duty. The Archbishop's message comes at a time when acts of torture are allegedly increasing against political rivals and the state security operatives have also been put on sport for them. Flavian Inkuze for CTV PM Edition.